Hello, uh, thank you for coming and a very warm welcome to this recital which marks uh, the final performance of my BMOS degree. I'm very excited to share this concert with you and I hope that you fall in love with these pieces as much as I have. Um, before we begin, I would briefly like to mention this programme is monumentally different to uh, any of the solo recitals I've previously done in college. I've very much steered away from classical repertoire since then. Um, Therefore, I urge you to feel free to respond as a non-classical audience. <laughs> um, I'm going to begin with uh, my own composition based on Bach's Air on the G-String, in which I have switched Baroque with Bossa Nova for a much more exotic feel. Thank you. Shaw's uh, Concerto for Clarinet. Some interesting facts about Mr. Arshawski. He was a famous band leader and also a multi-instrumentalist, starting on saxophone and progressing to clarinet. Whilst regarded as one of the finest um, jazz clarinetists to ever have played, he was also a self-proclaimed very difficult man, uh, which maybe offers some explanation as to why he was married eight times. <laughs> um, he even had a brief relationship with a young Judy Garland. Uh, however, he gave the world this marvellous creation and I really do hope you enjoy his concerto.
going to jump ahead to the 1980s. Phil Collins wrote Against All Odds in 1981, but uh, didn't release it until some time later. It was originally titled How Can You Just Sit There? Uh, and it was one of his least favourite ballads that he'd composed at the time, so it was shelved until presenting it for a demo for the movie titled the same Against All Odds. Um, as he was on tour with Genesis at the time, he collaborated with the music producer Arif Mardin uh, to create the song as it now stands over two days. 
Uh, this rendition is inspired by the one and only Gerald Albright's interpretation of the song. So without further ado, this is Against All Odds. Thank you. 
the composer of this next piece of music contributed greatly to the hippie movement in the US. Uh, he slept outdoors and claimed to live on only $3 a week. Uh, this song is an example of exotica, which is an often forgotten genre of music. I'll let you discover for yourself, but first I just thought I'd share a quick, a quick short extract of the lyrics, which I find most profound. Uh, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. This is Nature Boy by Eden Abbez. <laughs> Michel Mangani's blues needs very little introduction. His arrangement of um, An American in Paris truly reflects the iconic stylings of Gershwin. And of course, no clarinet tribute to such a composer would be complete without one particular iconic moment.
next piece is another one of uh, Gerald Albright's fantastic renditions of a much older song. This is uh, George On My Mind, originally written by Hoagie Carmichael. Um, I'll let the fun of this piece speak for itself. <laughs>
just before we uh, draw this recital to a close, um, I'd just like to ask you to join me in another round of applause for my fantastic band. So, uh, my last two pieces are Pure Imagination and Walker's Theme. Uh, my version of Pure Imagination might be slightly different to the one you're expecting. Um, something worth noting about this piece, um, the composers allegedly wrote this over the phone in a single day. Um, so, as Wonka instructed Charlie in the film, hold your breath, make a wish, count to three. Uh, I'd request you to make a wish and count to five. <laughs> 